So here are some overarching thoughts on one-handed solutions in general and how they vary from two-handed solutions. So this is just a brief overview of my thoughts on one-handed solutions in general. And in the videos after this, I'll go into a bit more detail on some of these points and give some more specific examples. So overall, there are some key differences between the solutions that you use for one-handed solves as opposed to those which you do for two-handed solves. The main overarching difference, and this is far outweighs anything else, as I've discussed in the previous modules, is that your solves are prim primarily just made up of R and U moves and then rotations in between those moves. So you'll be doing a lot of this sort of thing, rotating and then continuing to do that, rotating, etc, etc. However, because we're restricting ourselves to a slightly smaller move set, um, compared to two-handed solving, then there tends to be a slight increase in our move count, but we can view this as intentional because it will benefit our turning speed by a greater proportion. On the other hand, because you're turning slightly slower in one-handed solves, there is a little bit more room to actually look ahead, so we might make some slight efficiency gains there. And additionally, if you're quite an advanced solver, you can use this extra look ahead time to actually consider and process multiple different options of solving F2L pieces to influence both future F2L pairs as well as last layer edge orientation, which is something I'll cover in a later video in this module. With regard to your last layer, the key difference is just in the algorithms and finger tricks that you use, but as I'll discuss later on, we can also slightly adjust our solving approaches sometimes to force cases that are easier to execute with one hand. So those are some big picture thoughts on one-handed solutions in general, uh, as compared to things like finger tricks and the actual mechanics of one-handed turning. In the videos after this, I've got some more specific tips and techniques for one-handed solving, so I'll go into a bit more detail on some of these thoughts. <music>